Oh, hi everyone, and thank you for joining me for this short video about how to set up Web Captioner uh, for streams. Uh, first of all, big thank you to Torn Pixie and The Sam Wisest, uh, who uh, both helped me get this set up. Um, this is essentially Torn Pixie's methodology uh, that I am uh, that I am repurposing for Academy streams. Uh, so everything here was taught to me by uh, Torn Pixie, uh, and uh, then. Uh, the Samwise has helped me understand. Uh, so, first of all, uh, you'll be sent a link from Scraticus. It will be a web captioner link that takes you to experiments. Uh, in the experiments, you want to type in the, the name share, just like that, or lower case. Uh, note, this will only work in Google Chrome, so make sure that you are using uh, Google Chrome. Uh, Next, press the add button on the right there. Uh, when you press add, you should see share appear in added experiments. If it doesn't appear, or if you see an error message, uh, then you may need to refresh Google Chrome or restart Google Chrome. Uh, either way, uh, you should end up with share down there. All lowercase, I think, is the thing that it takes the most troubleshooting. Now, on the Academy, we want your, uh, your captions to look a certain way. So do me a favor and head over to appearance. You want to head over to Font Family and uh, update the Font Family to Open Dyslexic. Uh, once you have that set, head down to Interim Text Color. We want that to be Pale Yellow. Uh, the Pale Yellow is in the top left corner of the basic colors. Uh, everything else should be default except for background opacity, which we would like you to set to 50%. With that all set up, you can press start captioning down here in the bottom corner, and uh, you should see your words beginning to being captioned. Uh, if you use this little icon in the bottom right here, you can reaccess settings, uh, and you can also sign in. Now, if you sign in, um, I, I've heard that it helps you, helps track, I've heard that it helps track your words better, um, and I believe that to be true. I, I've seen it improve with time. Uh, the next, the only other thing Scraticus needs from you, I'm going to show you, uh, I'm going to talk through it first and then show you, because the captions at the top of the screen will be disabled, you may still be able to see some here. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go into here, there will be a, uh, a get link button, you want to make sure it's set to random link get link, uh, and then when you press that it will look like this, and you can come into use in your broadcasting application and get this link here, which is what the academy needs uh, to caption your voice. We're going to expire now, and I'm going to show you through it, uh, but the captions may not work. When we expire, now the link at the top has stopped working. Uh, we're going to make sure it's set to random link, and then pick, and then hit get link. Once you have that set up, uh, I've just put it back into the OBS captioner there, uh, so you can see that it is that it is captioning my voice again. Okay, that's the link I need. Thank you very much for taking the time to do this. It's quick, it's simple, uh, and it should make our stream so much more accessible. Thank you very much, everyone. Keep on evoking emotions.